Lighting's a bit strange today because this is a very rare early dusk video. I've been working all day so I haven't really had uh, time to record anything earlier. But I've just received this large and uh, heavy-ish box from my friend Sans Al who trades as Sans Al on eBay UK. Now we have had an unboxing of the uh, succulent haul from Sans Al before and um, obviously from the name he specializes in Sanseverias. Now this is the guy I told you about if you remember who spent a year years building up uh, really a representative collection of nearly every known Sanseveria species. Lots of habitat plants with habitat data, some rare hybrids uh, but not just uh, Sanseveria, some other plants as well. So let's see what uh, Al has sent us this time round. Now, as usual with this guy, it's a very, very well packaged delivery. So we've got a nice sturdy box here. And each plant, I can already see, is very well protected and wrapped in newspaper. So what do we have? Well, that's uh, something that's reasonably sizable. So the first plant that I, I'm unwrapping here, I'll just be a bit rude and drop the newspaper on the floor to save time. Is this rather large and rather special Sanseveria scimitarformis. So this is the Sanseveria. Those leaves are, are, are incredible. Those leaves are literally like iron. There's no way they're going to bend. They're absolutely solid. I've never quite seen anything like that. So this is Sanseveria scimitar, scimitariformis, which is a, a Sanseveria species from northeast Africa. So in that area from kind of northeastern Kenya moving up towards Somalia and the Sudan. Um, nice offset coming here from the rhizomatous method of spreading now you can see there's no chlorophyll in that so that's all been under the ground so far which is also evidenced by the fact that the offset is coming out from below the roots now that's a lovely plant with some scimitar sword shaped leaves so that's the first delivery Sanseveria scimitariformis and this is from uh, what is from Kenya, from Kikizola Crossing in Kenya. Okay, I'll place that one down and we'll have a look at all of these a little bit later. What else do we have from Al? If it's not a Sanseveria, 
I'll put it to one side and try and keep all the Sansevieria together. Hmm? And it isn't a Sansevieria, but it is another one of Ken's uh, speciality. This is a cultivar form of one of my favourite genera. And those of you who've been following the unboxings and the planting ups and the overviews of the collection will know how addicted I am to the cactus genus Astrophytum. Now this is a Japanese Astrophytum Asterias cultivar Ekubo. This is a slightly different former, a different shape, Ekubo Astrophytum Asterias from Japan. So we'll add that to the have a look at later pile. What else have we got? Ah, and this is a, a Gasterallo. And again, those of you who've been following the series regularly will know that we're building up quite a collection of intergeneric hybrids between Gasteria and Aloe, Hawarthia and Aloe, amongst others. And this is a Gaster Aloe, a hybrid between Gasteria and Aloe called Twilight. Gaster Aloe Twilight. Beautiful, beautiful colour. Paste that down in the have a look at later pile. Now this is a, a largish bundle. Oh, and that is beautiful. I don't even know if I'd show you that. It's so beautiful. That's a lovely little specimen plant of another Sansevieria from that Horn of Africa area. And this is Sansevieria pawisii. Again, those really, really, I mean, you, you have to feel these leaves. They are absolutely solid. There's, there's nothing else like these succulent Sansevieria leaves in the plant world. They're not squishy or um, succulent in that sense of the word that you can feel. They're not like an agave leaf or a, an aloe leaf. They are literally like thick leather. An amazing texture to play with. And again, we can see the rooting system there. And this Sansevieria pawisii is sending out these stolons, because it's a, a stoloniferous or a rhizomatous plant. And the end of this stolon, if you can see, is greening. So it's starting to uh, transfer chlorophyll from the main body of the plant down in preparation for it pupping, for it making a baby Sansevieria at the other end there. Another beautiful plant, Sansevieria Powisii, an absolute gem. What else do we have from Al? Oh, look at that. Today is a great day. Now this is a, a little, it's the smallest I think I've ever seen. This is kind of the... Uh, the Sansevieria equivalent of Aloe Hawarthioides or Aloe um, de Coinsy. It's a miniature hybrid, beautiful, beautiful Sansevieria called Bella. And it's so small. I've, I've never seen a Sansevieria as small as this and so perfectly formed. It's an absolute little gem. Just look at the colours there. Absolutely magnificent. Right, we'll put Bella down there as well. And there's one left. And I do have uh, the knack, although it's all luck to be perfectly honest, of saving the best to last. And this is an absolute gem. Just take a look at that. Now that, my friends, is Sansevieria Virginia and it's an absolutely beautiful, perfect specimen plant. 
I don't think I've ever seen a Sansevieria as uh, eye-catching as that. It's got that lovely spiralling form, each leaf slightly overlapping the one in front. And it's got those fantastic coppery margins that you sometimes see on these uh, tropical Sansevieria from uh, sub-Saharan tropical North East Africa, the Horn of Africa. It's got white mixed with copper and brass, these beautiful grass green leaves that are that are like wood they are so so solid and again this beautiful plant is offsetting here I don't think I've, I've seen a Sansevieria like that for a long time let me see if I can just show you that spiral form on the camera okay so that was a absolutely uh, staggering delivery from Sanzal on eBay UK now what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a kind of pan overview of these plants and then I'm going to repot them or pot them up however you want to term it from Sansevieria cimitariformis with those fantastically well developed roots and that magnificent great fat stolon coming off there which is going to uh, branch and form another uh, section of this Sansevieria growth and then the Gasterallo Twilight very very dark blood red colour very unusual I've never seen a Gasterallo that colour they're normally quite a strong darkish sometimes a lighter green then there's this other small Sansevieria here I'll just move that to one side so that's Sansevieria Pawisii Okay, lovely, lovely plant, about eight inches across. Then there was the Astrophyta masterias, the Japanese cultivar Ekubo. So I'll just show you that typical Astrophytum geometrical shape, Ekubo, and these fantastically well developed roots. And then there's this last Sansevieria we saw here, Sansevieria. Virginia with its new stolon coming off again very very well developed root formation Sansevieria Virginia and then finally that beautiful beautiful dwarf Sansevieria Bella Bella now we are going to do an overview of the Sansevieria genus very very soon so if this is a, a genus which interests you and a one that you've you've seen maybe the commoner garden Sansevieria like um, Harney, the low growing dark green and light green tiger striped one. Or the one with the yellow edges to the leaves that you see in every hotel, every hospital, every airport. Sansevieria trivachiati var Laurentii. Then please do tune in because as I hope I've shown you today, there is many, many more wonderful and diverse plant shapes and forms and colours on this genus than perhaps you've seen before. So please do uh, follow the Sansevieria series on Kirkstone Botanica YouTube channel. Subscribe to the channel. Have a look on the Kirkstone Botanica Facebook page where we will be showing the specimen plants of this genus and others. And also have a look at Kirkstone Botanica 2007 on Instagram, which is where we show the, the best possible quality photographs of the overall Kirkstone collection. So for now, because I've got work to do, it's goodbye from me and it's goodbye from the Sansevierias, which will be added to the collection. And of course, thank you very, very much to my friend Sanzal on eBay UK. A fantastic range of plants, fantastic quality and very very reasonable prices. So it's goodbye from me and it's goodbye from the Sansevierias. Bye for now. Bye bye.